Pin. Pin y Pin. Paris, press Paris. Finally, it's time. Every four years, randomers from around the world gather in France to celebrate cycling. A chance to meet new and old friends, enjoy the world's finest cuisine, and see the coolest bikes you can imagine. Get your gear ready and your reflective vest because it's time to roll. So we are here on the way for the registration for Paris vs. Paris, finally. <laughs> After doing all the Randonneur series and everything, really excited to be here. <laughs> Let's do it! Ready for the registration! <laughs> We are now in Versailles doing a warm-up ride and tomorrow is Paris Brest but it's already windy. <laughs> See, it's gonna be a big factor. The slow asphalt and also the rolling hills, of course. So we are here doing a 36 kilometers warm-up loop around Versailles and uh, these nice French villages. The plan, let's see how it goes. I'm still like uh, recovering from this year, but the plan is to go fast. <laughs> Let's see how fast we can manage. <laughs> I will tell you at the end of this video. Paris Breast Paris is something that I had in my bucket list for a long time. It's by most descriptions the oldest cycling event is still in existence today. First run in 1891. The route is 1,200 kilometers and it goes from Paris to Brest and then back to Paris. It actually starts in Rambouillet and you have different control points along the way and some of the control points overlap, so sometimes you meet randomers who are going from Paris to Brest as you make your way back from Brest to Paris, which is quite nice. As there are so many people, uh, around 8,000 people participating and different starting times and groups, I decided to include some footage from other randomers to show the different ways to approach this event and experiences Finally, yeah, time yeah, for yeah. Paris Brest. I've been nervous. First time riding in a bunch. Let's see. <laughs> not really. Ah, not really, but in a fast way. Let's say. Getting ready for PVP. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> It's gonna be a new experience, definitely. I completely blew up. Ah. Can't put any power. Example, I'm slowing down because I'm at, I was at 280 watts. I'll, I'll just let them go. There's, I can't keep on. How's it going? Oh, just enjoying the experience. Uh, wasn't good to push it to the first group, to be honest. I'm not made for bunch ride. Right? 
I was in group A, which is the 80 hours time limit uh, group, the first one, and I was uh, very nervous. And uh, after 70 kilometers, I blew up completely because they were going more than 40 kilometers an hour. And I, I never ridden in like a fast group. So I, I didn't know how to hold the wheel or how to move in a group. And I was pushing over 200 watts and I like <laughs> completely destroyed myself. But uh, we had to let go the group. And it was actually quite liberating. I don't know, I felt the pressure that to keep up with the group and it was like kind of this racing mode and it was quite frustrating because I felt like I, I signed up for this group I, I should be able to follow them but uh, when we let them go it was the best thing because it uh, allowed me to I don't know just uh, focus on enjoying this amazing event which I think PVP is about it doesn't matter <laughs> Let's enjoy the event. Huh? Can I enjoy? Why not? I want to enjoy an event. <laughs> huh? Let's just enjoy it. I mean, that's what we're here for. Okay. You don't have to race everything we do, huh? Explain the situation. Feeling a bit better. Uh, pressure. So we decided to do no. random airing? Random airing properly. <laughs> no racing. <laughs> bit fucked up the TCR still. <laughs> Sorry, a bit tired. <laughs> Getting the stamp, <laughs> nearly died by trying to follow the first group. <laughs> Second checkpoint, <laughs> making progress. I prefer the night. <laughs> I'm gonna take my sandwich. I'm gonna have to be quiet. Because over there, he's asleep. The guy in the picnic bench is asleep. And the guy in the hammock over there is asleep. Hey there. So I'm coming into Tintaniac now, which is the third control at 353 kilometers. It's been tiring because of, it's been high heat and you know for me lots of hills and you know, I train in Florida so I don't get a lot of hills so those are I'm, you know I'm dynamite on the flats but once the hills come people just walk away from me and I just have to slow it way down with you <laughs> I'm faster in the flats so it was like the terrain was quite challenging because it was like a lot of rolling hills Thank you. Another checkpoint, 427k with our friends. <laughs> Best group of PvP. <laughs> Another checkpoint. <laughs> That's only for breast. Less than a hundred for breast. Ito po ang uh, Filipino boot na yung PBP uh, pinamumunuan ni Ma'am LV. LV. Chef. Wow, chef. Oh, 
ang sponsor. Made it to Brest <laughs> at least halfway. <laughs> oh, so hot now. made it halfway through a bit cooked but wow what an amazing experience i love random earring it's so cool somehow feels like an ultra race <laughs> <laughs> but uh, punch racing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they look quite similar. No, it's the same one. Yeah? Ah, I was like... Looks familiar. Alright, it's 5 a.m. We're at the control point here. Uh, lots of people here. This is the first one where we have riders who are both coming and going in both directions. So, uh, there's people everywhere. Let's go inside and see how it looks. It's like the apocalypse in here. Good place to sleep. We pushed it uh, more than 24 hours without sleep. We went to, from Paris to Brest and then we made our way back uh, to Paris and we stopped at around uh, 782 kilometers in Ludec in one of the checkpoints where you have the possibility to sleep. It's really cool because they actually have beds so you can just go there, book a bed and they even wake you up. You tell them the time you want to wake up and they wake you up. So we slept like for around three hours, I think. And it felt quite refreshing and actually at this checkpoint I met August who was just heading to Brest. Good morning, day two. <laughs> Slept a bit, two hours. Did the checkpoint now. And always after a checkpoint there's a long climb. We are in random air limbo on our road. <laughs> Bye. 
passing through France. <laughs> I think around 200 something kilometers to go on the way to the checkpoint and it's so hot and these rolling hills are leg breakers. I was thinking like, wow, this is the most amazing cycling event I ever been. Like, it's like a, you feel like a famous Tour of France riders. You pass through the villages and there's kids cheering you. The people from the villages offering you water, food, all the amazing volunteers at the checkpoints, like 24 hours they are for you. It's like, a, wow, the hospitality of the French people is amazing. It was like, a, I wish I had more time. We always end up our adventures in nice sunsets. Randonnery! Pee, pee, pee! <laughs> he always comes first. You were just traumatized from, from TCR that they listed me as winner. You appear on a position higher than me. <laughs> Managed to complete PvP. Randomness. Oh. Always at night. <laughs> Any words? Finish PvP? The leader! Randoner's meal to finish. So to finish up Randoner's meal and we have of course the Paris breast dessert. <laughs> How many days without shower? Three days. <laughs> and say be pure. I need a Savage. shower. Paris Breast Paris was such an amazing event. I, I don't know, beyond anything I can imagine, it's really a celebration of cycling. French people are super welcoming, all the volunteers that are there day and night helping us. Thank you so much. And to all my randonneur friends who contributed with their videos, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Hope to see you there in four years. I will be back until the next one.